Bro, it's so hot. Pookie, it's still hot. I need like an ice cube. Oh, nose always running. My nose is always running. No, I didn't get punched in the head. I was working out and I had a hat on. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't get it. I've already eaten my noodles, so I'm good to go now. I got this new clip. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, so I'm coming to you guys with a bare face bath first. And I am about to show you my foundation routine. It is affordable and it's quick. Um, it's easy. So basically, it's really good. So <laughs> here we go. So I don't use a primer. I do prepare my skin using my uh, skincare routine. I will link that down below or maybe up there somewhere. But it's the last video I did. So you can go ahead and look at that how, um, you know, I prepare my skin. Okay, so I'm basically using two foundations. Okay, so I'm using two because one is a little bit darker. And of course, one is a little bit too light and not enough coverage, of course. So I have two. <laughs> so I'm working with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation and I'm working with the basically no coverage Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in Dark okay so I mix these two because like I said one is too dark one is too light but also this adds like some moisture due to it like you wouldn't freaking believe and I just feel like I might just add it to all of my foundations like really this right here is like the glow team like the glow getters these are the glow getters okay so I just take the Maybelline and I dot it all over my face. Okay, take another one because we're full coverage. Let's move the hair. I need another one. Oh, by the way, I am in the color 330 Toffee Glossier. We're gonna want to shake that up. It's super duper watery. All around. Okay, I'm gonna need another uh, hair pin. Okay, so I'm back and I have another pin. Um, I've seen like lately, a lot of people are starting to bring like the foundation brush back into style, but not me. <laughs> I feel like this just gives you the best coverage or gives me the best coverage. How about that? This foundation, it is so flawless. Oh, like, if you saw my video, I tried out the NARS and no shade to NARS. No shade. Everybody loves them. Just, I couldn't get with that, um, the newest foundation. I know everybody loves it. Everybody does, but I don't, I think sometimes people just say stuff is awesome just because they, you know, other people say it's awesome. Love NARS, but I just didn't love that foundation on me. Okay, not that, my friend. That's full coverage. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm not going to lie. I did have some issues when I first opened this thing. It was not trying to come up. It was brand new. And so it was just, took me forever for the foundation, I'm sorry, for the product to come to life. I was just like spinning and spinning and spinning. But okay, anyway, I'm in the color medium. I just dot that. So since this concealer is a little bit light, I'm going to take some of the foundation and just dot that in there. Okay, so now for contour, I take another affordable product. This is from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Glow Makeup Stick in Contour. Let me see, the color 805 Call Me Maple. So affordable. So affordable. I don't even know what to say. And it's like, it melts. This just melts into your skin. It does not take a bunch of effort to blend it in at all. So it's low end and it works well. So of course, I take it here. And it's a good color too. See, not too chocolatey. It's kind of gray. So it resembles a shadow. And then I come from the brow and in. Snatch the nose, snatch it. Okay, so now I'm just blending it in. See? <laughs> Let's get into the nose. Okay, so, all right, so we're blended. Now I'm actually taking both of these and mixing them. So the Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder is awesome. It's very blurring, very soft, very smooth, but it's a little dark, so um, 
it does have pigment, which I do like. I like that, but it's just a little bit too dark, okay? So this is the number 25 medium. And then this air sponge is a little on the white side, okay? <laughs> so neither one of these are actually really translucent. Then I just mix it like crack. Yeah. Yes. I don't get all creasy like I used to. <laughs> so I don't let that sit long at all. And I just wipe that bad boy off. Any extra on the brush, I take it down here. And really, it just blurs. It looks nice. I like the way I look. I like the way I look. So now for the highlight portion. I absolutely love the Ciate London Dewy Stick. I love this. This makes you look so pretty. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like it makes you look so pretty. So this is what it looks like here. My daughter Summer put her fingers in there, so it's not gonna come up for you. But I just, <laughs> I just dip my finger in there. And it's just like the most beautiful inner glow. You see that? Oh, hello. Here we go. There's how you can see it. The reflection is beautiful. At first I was like, it's like you're throwing Vaseline on your face, but it's not. It's not the same. I tried, believe me. So guys, this is the finished product. I did a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of mascara, a little bit of eyebrows, and a lip, a little bit of lip. And really that's it. Um, but this doesn't take me long to do at all. So yeah, hope you like it. Hope I gave you guys a little bit of tips, something that maybe you can take with you. And then with this hair, I feel like a pageant queen. <laughs> so huge. I feel like pageant queen meets, meets scissor with this hair.